guys so doing this quick before video I'll do an after as well uh, I'm getting ready to bump these up to uh, LED so you saw them real quick there I'll do an after as well uh, after the upgrades are done all right guys excuse the noise um, just got the second low beam LED headlight in. Um, there's another video I'll link up in the description that takes you most of the way, but, uh, for the 2019 2500 Bighorn 4x4 edition, the part where he removes the air box, um, does not need to be done for the low beam. I mean, anyways, I just did the low beams. And and this version, anyways, there's another flap similar to on the driver's side um, that gives you access basically to where the low beam is. Um, if you can see that in there. The dust cover is already on it, and that's the dust cover you gotta remove. That's pretty straightforward, really. But just uh, know that you do not need to basically do the uh, air intake, like on the other video, on, on, this, on this model of truck anyways. Uh, it might save someone a little time, because I had this thing just about out, and I started realizing it was still bolted in further from his video i think that is because it is the 4x4 version so there's more a little more involved to getting that air box out anyhow so the last part is you just snap snap this back in it's pretty straightforward i'm gonna pause you for a minute this essentially just cover it goes in here and snaps in place up there okay so it's done it's back into place um, so let me come back around show you guys um, I'm gonna start it back up make sure the headlights work hold on one second grab the keys all right guys like i think i've told you before i'm not super mechanical used to be in the military but we only went to a certain echelon we called it on as far as pulling out we called them packs but they're basically motors um check real quick first of all let me just go see if they're on Make sure they're working. Got one. That looks pretty good. And one that's not in right or something's wrong. Oh shoot, so I gotta probably, they warned about this, so I'm gonna have to go in and fix them. Pause, I'll be back. Hey guys, just wanted to do this quick video on the no code genius boost um picked this up not too long ago um fortunately haven't had to use it yet but it's ready if needed um this kind of replaces the old jumper cables that most of us uh 50 plusers uh used for years in the last couple years these these came about um and they're really great they save a lot of space um, they're probably safer overall and uh, super convenient uh, because it's more than just uh, a booster it's got a light on it and USB charger so it's kind of a safety device too in that regard you could something you could throw in a, a bug out bag uh, that type of thing um, Anyhow, so this is the NOCO Genius Boost GB40. 
uh, for 12 volt. They may make one for different types of batteries, but basically turn it on here. Um, tells you how much charge you have. Obviously, if it's low, you would hook up the USB over here, standard USB for the car, uh, and charge it. Uh, that's actually there's two of them one's one's to charge and one's to to get charged there um, actually pretty simple to use um, you just connect your clamps here to this side Cl clamps right in on that side um, and once you Provided you don't have a yellow a error here. Now, if you hook, the old days, you hook the clamps up, it was a bad thing backwards. I mean, if you hook them up, you know, red to black or something, uh, bad things happen. But this, if you do that, no worries. It'll give you an error right here and just let you know, hey, your, um, your batteries are reversed, essentially. So, yeah, it's... Uh, it's pretty handy, pretty safe. Um, you know, most people can obviously handle operating something like that, even if maybe you've never jump started. It comes with pretty clear instructions as well. Uh, matter of fact, I'll link up the video down in this description. Uh, now, you can do a manual override on these, um, and that's right here. And that that's where you would actually... Um, if there's, there's safe, certain safety mechanisms that, uh, you know, this boost has built in that says, you know, if things aren't looking quite right, but if you, in your mind, you know, they're all hooked up right. And for whatever reason, you know, the boost here, it's internal safety mechanisms aren't allowing for essentially to try and give it a jump start. Uh, you can hit that manual override and that's right there and that'll allow you to essentially set off the safety the internal safety mechanisms of the boost and allow you to go ahead and try and start the car now is that recommended probably not but it's a nice feature that they include no, nice to know it's there um, hopefully you'll never need it um, again it's got a light on it so that's pretty bright i mean shoot look at that just see there LA nice LED light um, and again you can charge your cell phone off it so it's like a you know a lot of people they'll carry around extra batteries just for just in case for their phones you know and maybe in the car or whatever you've got going on but you know with obviously keep this in the car but this could also serve you know so you say you lost total power and you had to uh, you know have something at least charge your phone to for emergency type situation. So Again, it's the NOCO genius boost um, Fortunate enough not to have to use it yet <laughs> uh, knock on wood um, But it's there if needed and again it takes kind of the place of the old jumper cables that uh, Many many of us use for many years which you needed another car <laughs> around too to to get the jump and it knocks that out too which was always a big you know a biggie if you there's not always in a second car around so this is kind of like your second car and your boost and your cables all wrapped into one so highly recommend it I'll look at link it up down below um we'll try and keep these going with some of the other the gear that purchased uh you know just to for safety reasons and um uh, recovery reasons towing reasons, things of that nature. So everybody have a great day. All right, well, got it guys, finally. Um, as it shows in that other video, I believe it's something headlights is the name of the channel. Put it on the screen, link to it. Uh, that video, you can follow it pretty much other than that airbox power I was talking about. And then at the end there, the passenger side wasn't working. Uh, so I had to just, you just turn it over basically on the, from the boot socket thing. Uh, working now, I'll do a one, another one tonight so you can see night and day. They look pretty bright right now though.
during the day. Uh, wow. So I might need to adjust these because I, I really hope I don't blind people going down the road. I used to be one of those people that really is annoyed by it, but I realize the safety of it having better lights, especially when towing. So um, we'll pick it back up a little later, guys, and uh, see the difference at nighttime. So talk to you in a few. There you go, guys. Uh, this is the after shot of the LED upgrade on the 2500. Uh, pretty good line there. Supposed to be 300% brighter, I believe it. Um, pretty good cutoff line, looks pretty decent. Again, wasn't too hard to do. Um, didn't show a ton of actually doing it. It's more kind of about the upgrade. I'll provide links to another YouTuber that actually did it. But uh, yeah, again, on these 2500s, the RAM. Uh, big horn lit edition kind of standard base model the um, low beams are the daytime running lights as well so kind of another reason I wanted to do it just be how the low beams are on quite a bit um, get a pretty good workout so hopefully that improves uh, nighttime driving especially while towing uh, again, I'm a little concerned about kind of blinding other drivers, but may need to do some adjustments for that. But uh, we'll see on that one, especially when towing. So, anyhow, it's all done. That's the after. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you next time.